one, all you sexy mother bitches. Coming to me Thursday, Thursday lunchtime. Got all kinds of shit on my mind. You know, anything from fantasy to reality. We're going to cover the gamut here in the next few minutes. But uh, start out with fantasy, and I'm going to start out with my favorite game of all, Call of Duty. There's some issues I'm starting to see. Some things I'm starting to catch on to that, you know, immediately that that brand new relationship feeling where you didn't want to say anything was wrong with the game. Everything was brand new. Even a puppy over crying laying in the sun. It was like a new relationship to me. I didn't want to say anything was wrong with it. You know, I, every now and then I'd get frustrated with, you know, lag and, and some hit detection issues. But I, I didn't want to make it public because it was new. I still in love. I still that freshness had had me in its grasp. What well, shit's done got old, and rank and stagnant, and fuck it. I'm gonna tell you what I want. <laughs> right off the bat, one thing I think needs to be put into this game, brought over from Black Ops. I gave Black Ops shit, which we all did. We all did. You can deny it. We gave the game hell, but it was a damn good game, hands down. One of the best Call of Duties to date. You know, hopefully this game gets over this stigma of lag and, and latency and whatever bullshit is to come. But one thing Call of Duty got right. <clears throat> Me, my team, we're an objective-based team. We play a lot of headquarters, play a lot of sabotage. You know, those different game modes where there's objectives that pop up around the map. One thing that is not brought over, didn't transition over when, uh, you know, they brought in Modern Warfare 3. The icons. I know many. I've seen people talk about it. I'm not the only one that sees this. The icons, you know, that pop up over, you know, capture A, B, C, you know, whatever headquarters, you know, is online, whatever the objective is. In Black Ops, you pull your sights up and you look through that objective. Objective disappear. You know where the fucking box is. You standing there looking at it. You can see through. There's somebody standing on the other side. Da -da -da, drop in bitches like new fallen snow. This game. I've got killed a dozen times because someone will get behind the objective on a perch in line with that icon and they look for a gun twitch, you know, which is fucking bullshit. It's quick scope. People say that they want, oh, it takes skill. Buy your fucking hack controller. That shit ain't taking no skill. I can do it with my regular PS3 controller. It's bullshit. Get, you know, go to the, we want to make this as much like realistic warfare. Let's make it like warfare. Don't make it where you can do a 360 degree spinning wheel kick, look like fucking Chuck Norris jumping off a six story building to crack off two quick scope shots. What the fuck? You know, we need to make it to where when you pull that scope up or you, you come across, let it dissolve, let it go invisible for a few seconds. Black Ops nailed that shit. That was a great, you know, that, that was one of the greatest things to date that I saw Black Ops put in. Starting to see things now that, you know, before my rage took over, I couldn't see. I was angry at the game. I hated the game. I was tired of it, ready to move on to the next installment. You know, and then... <sighs> my win streak. You know, me personally, I, my kill-death ratio, I'm not so upset about. I keep, right now, I think I'm a 1.34. That's, that's as good as I've got. <laughs> Let me show you a beast hound before we go to the next thing. Come here, Here right now this is my wife's puppy. Well, she's full of grown. Look in the camera, Rosie. Look in the camera. Look in the camera. You, you a superstar. Right now, if they had this dog in Modern Warfare 3, ain't a safe person in, in sight. Right now, she's well-mannered because she's with Poppy. You call me Poppy, don't you? You just call me Poppy. She's well-mannered. Easy, easy. It's not so hot swims off. That's her command. Don't kill nobody. Don't kill nobody. Well, man, they had that shit in special ops. You know, whatever. Survive or whatever. Ain't no surviving that shit. She's a beast. You turn her loose. Just fucking racket. Claw your eyes out. Lick your face off. Easy. But, back to it. Connection in this game with the game modes. Got me pissed off. My current streak, win streak. Not great. It's 42. But to end my streak... We're in a room. We're up on a team in domination, which we've been playing the shit out of. You know, I, that's one thing that we're single-minded about. We find a game mode we like, we stick to it. 
and we we want to excel. I want to see my name up in that leaderboard. We're beating this group like 185 to 60. You know, games in hand. All we got to do is hold one headquarters and just spread out and get kills as we want. All of a sudden, we get pulled out of the fucking match. I'm the party leader, and I see a tag that states something to the effect that one or more of your party members was disconnected, so we brought you out. But we're going to give you a fucking loss for it. What the fuck is up with that? I've sent comments to 402. How, fix this bullshit. You know, and then it pisses me off, but yet people can turn their PlayStations off. You know, with the Slim, you ain't got to switch in the back. You got to pull the plug. I see it done. I see people in my list do it daily. And yet I see their win-loss ratio ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. It's bullshit. If I fucking stay in a game and it pulls, so what if one of my members loses connection? Maybe they had an issue. Maybe fucking the internet went down. Power outage. What the fuck ever. Don't jerk me out of the fucking game because somebody else had issues. Whether they my clan members or not. I don't want to take a loss like that. Just me being, just, that eats my shit up bad. But, uh, that's enough of my rant raving on Modern Warfare 3. Get Jump into the real world for a second. Something that hits close to home. Uh, many of you know, you know, one a Kentucky recipient of the Medal of Honor, uh, Dakota Myers, you know, got doing his duty serving his country. But uh, I listen to NPR daily at work, got the earbuds in, listen to NPR. I'd like to educate myself, you know, world surrounding, what's going on in the politics, whatever. I try to keep up in the know. And I usually don't use my YouTube channel as a form for that. But one thing that's bothering me is I'm hearing the company that he, cur- you know, he, he's currently working with another company, I'm sure, but a defense company that he worked for. He voiced his opinion, said, hey, why are we selling these tactical sniper scopes? Why are we sell them to some other country we ain't too sure about? They're a little bit shady with the way they act around us. And the company's going to turn around and say, he's a drunk, he's mentally unstable. You know, right before he reaches the status of, uh, what is, is he currently the only living recipient of the Medal of Honor? Bullshit. It's bullshit that, that he's even in any type of conflict having to sue these people because he stood, took a stand on what he believes in. Because he's seen what happens, he's been to the front lines. Me personally, this is the way I'm going to drop it to you heavy the way I feel. If you can't buy it in the United States, in a whether it's you know law enforcement supply, I understand. I've personally been there. You're not going to buy stuff in a law enforcement supply store that you can buy in your everyday pawn shop, gun store, gun shop, whatever. If you can't buy it in a sporting goods store in the United States, anywhere in the country, it's readily available to the public, there's no need for us to be selling it to another country. People may be pissed off about that. I think it should be the same way in Europe. United Kingdom, wherever. If if they've got a technology and they're not willing to share it with their own public, why the hell sell it to some other country? Why put yourself in that position? That's me. We've got military personnel now that don't have the technology. As military personnel, they don't have the technology. They're not able to use it. They can't use these high-end scopes. But yet, our government will subcontract out the fucking usage of these to, some, to the highest fucking bidder. I think it's bullshit. I think there should be military spec equipment. There should be publicly spec equipment. Fuck, I don't care if you think it's funny or not. Just my view on it. If I can't go to Dick Sporting Good and buy this tactical scope, there ain't no reason we should be selling it to fucking wherever in the world they're going to. I'm currently brain dead. Couldn't tell you. I think it's, I think maybe Pakistan. I'm probably wrong. But that's my soapbox. And I don't like to use my channel as, you know, mostly it's fun. It's my way to, to vent and get stuff off, have a good time, you know, talking about shit for Call of Duty. That's just me ranting, but that hits close to home. Not because he's a Kentucky native, but because the views he stands for are views that I take close to heart. I think he's right. Say what you want, believe what you want. That's just my shit. And like everybody's, I got an asshole too. Mine may stink, but I think it's the greatest. (laughs) But with that said, I'm sure we'll have a video for you sometime tonight. I know we got five or six. My people's done busting me up, and I'm trying to hook up. I need to go through and clean out my inbox. I seen some of my subs, you know, tra- trying to trying to send me invites and says my I'm I'm full. I'm correcting. I'm trying to work on it. I'm gonna try to knock it out now at lunch. Get some of those uh, invites hit up. Get some subs in playing with us. But uh, with that said, 
Till next time, peace out, bitches.